Hey guys, we are back with one more interesting tutorial. Hope you are learning super cool things. Let's learn to build a Chrome extension today. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to write a Chrome extension from scratch, which will show a pop-up and a notification. For your reference, I have also written a blog post as well. So let's down the steps and the code snippet. So the blog post you can find on our blog that is Apichip and here is the here are all the steps that you need to follow so the basic structure of uh, Chrome extension will look like this so we will have a manifest file we have a pop-up page and JavaScript file and an image so the manifest.json file is the main component of Chrome extension which includes information about versioning, permissions, and other useful metadata. It should be always placed in the root of your project folder. And we have a pop-up HTML. This is the HTML page will, will, uh, which will be shown when you click the extension icon. So here are all the icons, uh, all the uh, extension that are being loaded in this Chrome. So if you uh, click on this it will show a pop-up that will be our pop-up.html so this pop-up html will have a button and on the click of which you will be shown a notification then we have pop-up.js file this is the javascript file which contains the logic of showing the notification on the click of button and uh, you can also put uh, some more logic which you want in this js file and then we have a uh, 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 image file which will uh, which will be shown here on the icon so I am inside uh, the name of my extension is my extension and here I have these files the image and uh, manifest file pop-up file and the JavaScript file The manifest.json have the metadata regarding the Chrome extension and the details are uh, the first field is name that is my extension its description and the version of your Chrome extension and the version of manifest version so the current version is 2 and then you have content security policies so these are the policies uh, set of rules that applies on the, your Chrome extension you can read more about it here content security policy so for example it says do not uh, um, uh, do not allow to embed javascript in the html so these kind of uh, rules are there that is you can't use inline scripting in your chrome app pages so you can read more about it here okay and then you have browser action uh, which says your default pop-up will be pop-up html and default icon would be apichip.png and then you are giving uh, permission for notification and tabs so this is the minimum uh, things that we need to feed into manifest.json file and then we have uh, pop-up.html which is a simple HTML file which include your pop-up JS and uh, which have a button with ID show and value show notification so a button would be there on which show notification label will be there then we have pop-up.js so this here comes our main logic of showing a notification so we have given the ID show and we are uh, we are listening the event and uh, we are getting the element by id that is show and then we are adding the logics on the click so on click if uh, we already uh, if your uh, browser doesn't support notification then it will check for it and it will give you an alert this browser does not support desktop notification and let's check if the user is okay to get some notification then if uh, permission is granted then we are creating a notification which says hi there otherwise we need to ask for the user permission and uh, if chrome does not implement the permission static properly so we need to check for not denied instead of default 
so if denied then we are requesting for the permission and then if permission is granted we are showing the notification hi there and this is how our apichip.png file uh, the image look like so this is the bare minimum stuff that we are keeping now let's go ahead and see how to set up and install your extension so if you visit chrome colon double slash extensions which is this page so here you will see uh, all the extension that you are using from here you need to click on load unpacked extension here is our extension my extension and uh, click on select then it will get loaded up and as you can see on the click of this this extension is loaded and the icon can be seen here and if you hover it it shows my extension so uh, every time you make changes to the code you can click on reload which will reload the extension and uh, you can see the changes is being reflected now to test it out uh, we will be opening example.com refresh it and here is our icon click on this it, it has shown us header and a button if you want to debug your code then you can inspect this this will show the uh, developers console and this is your console and uh, this is our button and as expected if we click on this show notification it should show us an uh, a notification so let's click on this ray here comes our notification and you can always uh, debug it from here so this is your debug point and every time you click on it you get an uh, you get an notification So all the steps and uh, all the steps are listed here on our blog and if you want to go through it and create your own extension then it would be a cool thing. Apart from it uh, you can you can put more logic in your JavaScript file for example fetching some data from an API call and displaying it or um, showing that data in your alert on your notification. So that can be pretty much cool. So you can make uh, n number of applications through this. So this is all about our tutorial. Hope you like it. Keep learning, keep sharing and do like us and subscribe to keep us motivated. Thanks for watching.